God describes things. So what does it mean to be naked? Let's look at a couple of verses. Job 1.21 it says here, Naked came I out of my mother's womb, and naked shall I return thither. The Lord gave and the Lord hath taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Um, so we see there that when you come out of your mother's womb, obviously you are, are, are totally naked. You have no clothing at all. Um, and that's how the Bible describes you're naked when you come out of your mother's womb. And when we think of how a baby comes out, that's what uh, naked is. Let's look at a, lot, a couple of others because it's quite, there's a few verses that really mention this same thing. Uh, look at Job 24.10. They cause him to go naked without clothing and they take away the sheaf from the hungry. Uh, look at this one, Ecclesiastes 5.15. As he came forth of his mother's womb. So again, see this theme of being born and not having any clothing. As he came forth of his mother's womb, naked shall he return to go as he came and shall take nothing of his labor, which he may carry away in his hand. Hosea 2.3 says here, Lest I strip her naked and set her as in the day that she was born and make her as a wilderness and set her like a dry land and slay her with thirst. So the reason why it's talking about the wilderness and the dry land, because God will often refer to a land or a country as a woman. Uh, you know, he talks about Israel and Judah committing adultery. So he's just using that analogy there and saying, I'm going to strip her naked. And what he's going to do is he's going to curse the land and make it barren um, in terms of the judgment that he was going to do on a certain nation. So I, you know, it goes without saying, and I know, you know, this is pretty, pretty basic, but naked is when you are, um, you don't have any clothes, but it's more so as well, you're naked because your nakedness is showing. And I'm going to go into what naked, what the Bible describes as nakedness. So it's not, so you, you, let's say, for example, you don't have any clothes and you only define no clothes as naked. Well, obviously, if you just wear a t-shirt, but you don't have any pants, According to the Bible, you're still naked because your nakedness is showing. The whole idea of clothing is to cover your nakedness. But the reason why the Bible can define naked as completely no clothes is because obviously your nakedness is showing as well. So uh, you want to be careful with just how naked is described because, you know, if you're wearing a watch or a top hat without any other clothes, you're still naked because your nakedness is showing. Uh, and that's why when you have absolutely no clothes, you're naked because your nakedness is showing. Now, what people really dispute about is what is nakedness. So the, the Bible defines naked as no clothing, but you put on clothing to cover your nakedness. Now, you, you, you're not naked when just any part of your body is showing, right? Because if your arm, my arms are showing right now, my head is showing. You know, if I didn't have any shoes on, my feet would be showing. But I'm not naked, I've got clothing. So the question is, when the Bible tells us to cover our nakedness, what is it? Well, let's go to um, Exodus 28:42. Now, I don't believe the Bible really clearly defines what nakedness is. I believe we have to deduce it from different verses because the Bible will often talk about nakedness, uncovering nakedness, discovering nakedness, um, you know, associating nakedness with your shame, but it doesn't, doesn't often define clearly what nakedness is. I think there are a couple of verses that define it. And we can deduce from these verses I'm about to show you what nakedness is. And I think God probably does that for a reason because he doesn't need to explicitly tell us what our nakedness is because it's inherent to us after the fall. And I'll show you that in a moment. But here's a verse from Exodus 28. It says here, And thou shalt make them linen breeches to cover their nakedness. From the loins, even unto the thighs, they shall reach. So there's a clue there to what nakedness is, because God is saying for the priest, we need to make a garment of linen breeches to go from the loins to the thighs. So even though this verse does not define what nakedness is, it tells us that nakedness is located between the loins and the thighs. Now, some people will use this verse to say that thighs are nakedness. But if you're wearing a garment from the loins to the thighs, that doesn't mean that the garment is going from the loins past the thighs. It's not saying put a garment from the loin to the knees, is it? To cover the thighs. It's saying put a garment on from the loins to the thighs. Now I've heard somebody say that, well, if you, if you wore a garment from the loins to the thighs, you'd be just be wearing a string because the thighs reach your loins. But that's not actually true because there is something between your loins and your thighs. Your loins are here and your thighs start here. So what is between that area? Obviously, you've got your groin area and you've got your buttocks. 
right? So if you were to put on a garment that went from your loins to your thighs, you wouldn't be wearing a string. You'd be wearing probably like some bike pants or you'd be wearing like underwear, right? I don't believe what's being described here is pants because pants obviously go down from the loins to your ankles. You know, shorts go from your loins to your knees. Underwear is what goes from your loins to your thighs and it covers your buttocks and your groin area. Uh, and that's what I believe uh, nakedness is. But I don't think you can use this verse to prove that thighs are included as naked because loins are not nakedness, right? You wouldn't, nobody would say that their loins are nakedness. So if you're wearing a garment from your loins to your thighs and nakedness includes your thighs, why aren't loins nakedness as well? No, because it's where you're wearing something from there to there um, and your thighs are not covered because it's going to your thighs. Um, so uh, keep that in mind. So I think this is a verse to show where nakedness is located. It goes from your loins to your thighs because he's saying, hey, put on these linen breeches to cover their nakedness and it's going to reach from the loins to the thighs. Uh, let's go to Isaiah 20, verse 4. This is, I think, is one of the clearest passages that actually defines a body part as nakedness. It says here, So shall the king of Assyria lead away the Egyptians' prisoners and the Ethiopians' captives, young and old, naked and barefoot, even with their buttocks uncovered to the shame of Egypt. Now that lines up with what we read um, in, in Exodus, right? When it talks about the linen breeches going from the line, uh, loins to the thighs because the buttocks is in that area. And this actually defines, I believe, buttocks as naked because when the King James Bible uses this phrase, even with their buttocks uncovered, it's usually repeating a fact that it just stated, like it says in John 1, 12, but as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, because believing on his name is how you receive the Lord Jesus Christ. So it's sort of restating that fact in another way. Whereas this says here, young and old, naked and barefoot, even with their buttocks uncovered, and I believe that's defining their, your buttocks as nakedness. So the idea of clothing is to cover your nakedness, right? So your clothing ought to cover your buttocks. So things like G-strings are not appropriate. Uh, and if you're wearing things like that to the beach or wherever, you're actually naked because people can see your buttocks. Um, now I want to show you a couple of other verses here that talk about other areas of the nakedness. Uh, Leviticus, Leviticus 20. So we've got one for a lady and one for a man. Leviticus 20. Leviticus 20 says, A man shall lie with a woman having her sickness and shall uncover her nakedness. So we see here that it's about sleeping with this woman, shall lie with a woman having her sickness and shall uncover her nakedness. He hath discovered her fountain and she hath, un and she hath uncovered the fountain of her blood and both of them shall be cut off from among their people. So we see here that when he uncovers her nakedness, he uncovers her fountain, the fountain of her blood. And we all know where a woman has her menstrual cycles and where that comes from. So we see here that that uh, is aligned with nakedness. And I believe that uh, goes with that definition in Exodus where it talks about the nakedness between the loins and the thighs. And here is one for a man, Habakkuk 2.16. 15. Now this is a familiar verse when we talk about um, getting drunk and alcohol. It says, Woe unto him that giveth his neighbour drink, that putteth thy bottle to him, and makest him drunk also, that thou mayest look on their nakedness. I think it's always interesting that the, the Bible uses the, 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 the male pronoun there. So it's actually a man trying to get another man drunk in order to look on his nakedness. And that is the, the, the bottom of, of depravity. It says here, Woe unto him that giveth his neighbour drink, that putteth thy bottle to him. So there's two men here. Makest him drunk also, that thou mayest look on their nakedness. Look at this. Thou art filled with shame for glory. Drink thou also, and let thy foreskin be uncovered. The cup of the Lord's right hand shall be turned unto thee, and shameful spewing shall be on thy glory. So we see there that a man's foreskin is part of his nakedness, right? Because he's saying here they want to look on this person's nakedness and get them drunk. And he's saying that their foreskin will be uncovered, showing again that the nakedness area is between the loins and the thighs. So whilst I don't think it's clearly stated what nakedness is, there are a couple of verses that are clearly stated. I think we can easily deduce 
that the nakedness is between this area and that's why God told them to make those linen breeches to cover the nakedness. Now, a couple of questions in regards to this. So somebody might ask, well, if nakedness is between the loins and the thighs and it doesn't include the chest area, then our breasts nakedness. You know, uh, uh, is, is, a, is, a, is a, obviously a ma- we wouldn't consider culturally a man's breast to be nakedness, right? Like a man takes off his shirt, nobody bats an eye, right? Most people will look away and go, Ugh, right? But, um, you know, obviously when a woman takes off her shirt, you know, that's a, that's a bit of a different story. And people will think, well, you know, women should cover up their breasts. But breasts are not actually nakedness. So when a woman is, is topless, she's not actually showing her nakedness. She is showing her breasts, but as long as she's got shorts on or if she's got, you know, bike shorts on or whatever, she's actually covering her nakedness. She's not actually naked by the Bible definition. Does this mean that it's all right for a woman to walk around topless? Well, this is more an issue and a question of modesty and, and the intention of why is she walking around topless? You know, what is she trying to achieve? And is it modest or not? And that is something that I'll go into uh, in another sermon, probably next sermon, when I talk more about modesty. So I just wanted to make it clear there that breasts are not nakedness. Uh, so it's not a sin for a woman to actually reveal her breasts, but it's more an issue of modesty. That's what may make it a sin. And we'll talk about that next time.